We're making major progress in multiple states with bills advancing in Rhode Island and Colorado. Plus, historic words from President Obama, strong polling numbers, and the anniversary of the Prop 8 trial. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage Newswatch for January 28, 2013. It's looking good for marriage in Rhode Island, but obstacles may still remain. This week, the House voted overwhelmingly to approve a marriage bill. Now it's on to the Senate, where many legislators are still deciding whether they'll support the measure. A key sticking point is whether the bill will provide broad exemptions for anti-gay groups that don't want to recognize marriages they don't approve of. It may take several weeks, maybe even months, for the bill to get a Senate vote. And in the meantime, you can connect with riunitedformarriage.com to get involved. And we made progress in Colorado this week as well. The Senate Judiciary Committee passed a civil unions bill on party lines, 3-2. to two. Now it moves to the Appropriations Committee. You can get in touch with one-colorado.org to help support their work to move the bill along. We're also seeing some legislative movement in Hawaii, where Representative Faye Hanahano introduced a marriage bill this week. There's also a competing bill that would put a marriage ban in the state constitution. Visit hawaiiunitedformarriage.org for ways that you can get involved there. And we're not done yet. There's also a brand new marriage bill in New Mexico. Representative Brian Egoff introduced the measure, which is admittedly a long shot. The bill's first stop is the Consumer and Public Affairs Committee. And on Monday the 28th, a House committee in Wyoming will hear testimony on marriage bills. Meanwhile, Minnesota legislators are working on overturning the state's statutory ban on marriage. Public opinion is quickly moving in their favor. Voters defeated a constitutional ban on marriage this November, and a new poll from public policy polling shows a plurality now supports marriage equality, 47 to 45 percent. That growth in support is consistent with national polling, which repeatedly has shown a majority favors the freedom to marry. President Obama acknowledged that sentiment in his inauguration address, comparing Stonewall to such civil rights watersheds as Seneca Falls and Selma. The Department of Justice has already stated that they believe the Defense of Marriage Act to be unconstitutional. But there's no word on whether the administration will become involved in AFER's Prop 8 case. Amicus briefs in that case are due in early March. This month is the anniversary of the 2010 Prop 8 trial. It was the first time that a federal court heard testimony under oath on marriage for gay and lesbian couples. To mark the occasion, AFER is bringing you highlights from each day of the trial. Visit AFER.org and check Facebook and Twitter every day to see new highlights. This is going to be the busiest year yet for marriage equality. To get an overview of what to expect in the coming months, check out our brand new video, Looking Ahead to 2013. That has all the details you need on the federal work before the U.S. Supreme Court, as well as state-by-state -state progress. You can subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org, as well as on Twitter and Facebook for weekly updates. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.